Today's video is going to be about retake in IELTS reading. So majority of the students are not able to clear the IELTS exam in the first attempt. And uh, what they have to do is they have to retake the IELTS exam. And now there are two options for you. First of all, if you have done the computer based exam, if you have done the computer based exam, then you can do the single module retake means that you can only retake the IELTS reading exam or whatever exam you got lower score in. But if you have given the pen and paper based exam, you have to give the whole exam again. You have to give the whole exam again because EOR is also not beneficial for the students who have got a lower score in pen and paper based IELTS because the reading is checked computerized. So there is no flaw or a, a fluctuation in the score while the computer is checking. It is always accurate. So you are left with only one option that is retaking the whole exam. So now I'm going to tell you about the tips and tricks for both of the students who are uh, appearing for computer based also and who are appearing for pen and paper based also. That how you need to uh, prepare for reading in the next subsequent days as to get a better score in your next exam. Here I have made two categories. There are two types of students who have not got their desired band score. So uh, all of you will be lying in one of those these categories. The first one is the students who have got 5 or 5.5 in only reading. There are some students who are not getting the band in only reading and are getting a good score in rest of the modules. For example, in speaking, listening or writing, the student is able to get either equal to 6.5 or 6.5. Then the student is having a very good level of English. After that, in the exam, due to any bad luck, due to any problem, due to any other issue, the student is not able to get the desired band score. So if you are falling in this category, then you need to fill the exam in next one month's gap. Why is that? Because you are already having a very good level of English. You are uh, uh, prepared with uh, everything. You are prepared in listening, speaking, writing. You just need to prepare for reading in a more well manner. So there will be two approaches now. First of all, if you are doing for computer based exam, just fill the single module retake. But if you are going for every module, means that you are going for pen and paper based IELTS, then please try to stay in touch with all of the other modules. Because I have seen a lot of times when students uh, go to the exam center to appear again in the exam, they just uh, get left behind in any other module for the next time. Because the student has only prepared for the exam, only for the module, in which he got a lower score the last time. So you need to prepare for every module in the same manner. Okay. Uh, so the next category is the students who are uh, not very good in English and just uh, filled their exam. They have got 5 or 5.5 in more than one module, not in the single module, more than one module. After that, their speaking, listening and writing scores are not more than 5.5 or 6 means in one module they got 6 and in the rest of the modules they got 5.5 and are not good in English, not fluent in English, uh, are not having a very good pronunciation, they are not having a, a good understanding of the different words of English. After that, they need a lot of improvement. So if you are falling in this category, you need to fill the exam in at least two months gap. For here, one month gap, 15 days to one month is uh, sufficient over here. But here, two months is minimum because you are already not having a good level in English. And uh, I don't understand that why you filled the exam for the last time. The students who are just filling the exam, for God's sake that they will get the band, they are uh, the biggest fools, I think. So because if you are not having a good level in English, what will you perform over there? What will you speak over there? What you will write over there? Just spend that money on preparation as to get a good band score once you fill the exam. I also the thing in which uh, you just uh, pass the exam in one go. Because if you fill more than one exam, the student also gets frustrated. The parents of the students also get frustrated. The student is having a lot of pressure. So at that time, he falls in a vicious circle. 
in which he is not able to come out of that so you need to spend a better a good time on preparation after that only for the exam so now let's see that how to prepare and what tricks you need to follow in your next exam here now let's see that what approaches both set of students need to follow the number one uh, group of students need to do two readings every day two readings every day as you are having a lesser time and you need to score better after that plus uh, slw in pen and paper only if you are going for pen and paper based again for the whole module then you need to be in touch with the rest of the modules also after that number two write similar words in a diary what is similar words means synonyms uh, every similar word you find or every synonym you find just write down it in the notebook the first thing will be you will be in touch with that that word would fit in your mind and second thing would be that uh, you would prepare a diary and uh, whenever you are going for exam means that uh, before going to the exam just uh, take a glance of that diary and you would be able to remember a lot of words for example here i am preparing a lot of words for the students for the videos so these are the words from cambridge 18 test number 2 that i got out so different words for example range is equal to variety types then uh, fashioned out is equal to made from so if uh, students get to uh, know the meaning of uh, the different words then they would easily be able to score better in ielts so just prepare this this is the most wonderful tip that uh, someone will tell you and you need to follow this only after that focus on set of questions what is set of questions mean every student is um, i would say weak in a particular type of question for example if you are weak in mcqs just focus on mcqs more if you are weak in list of headings just uh, focus on list of headings more try to uh, i would say watch videos watch different videos on different uh, kind of questions we have uploaded a lot of videos you can go into the playlist and check them out moreover you can uh, search by like list of headings toppers world you would get to know different videos after that join one module class if needed so if it is needed by you means if you are not able to prepare it by your way you can also join single module class uh, if available if uh, you want to join in any institute you can go also we are also providing single module classes in which uh, the classes are one to one you can just uh, make a call to me at 7973 75 86 double four you can just make a call i would uh, also write the number over here 7973758644 you can just make a call either you can make a message on whatsapp we'll be contacting you after that what do the second group of students need to do you need to do one test from each module daily because you are not good in every module you are having certain problems in every module that you are facing so you need to prepare one test from each module daily after that same tip write the similar words in a diary so that uh, you stay in touch with different kind of words your uh, range of vocabulary builds up and uh, eventually you will be able to get a good score in ielts after that read novels and articles where i told focus on set of questions here i am telling read novels and articles because you are already not having a good level in english you do not know that uh, how different things are talked about uh, in what manners one can uh, uh, frame the sentence so by reading novels and articles you would get to know about those things your english uh, vocabulary your english understanding will eventually go up this takes time you would see that uh, there are a lot of students who were not having a good level in english while they were doing ielts but when they moved to canada after that they are having very fluent english now what is the reason the only reason is that they are conversing in that language every day they are in touch with that they are using it daily so you need to do this after that join an ielts plus grammar class the main uh, uh, reason that why you are not able to get the score at first was that your grammar is weak if you are stuck at 5 5.5 the only reason is the grammar so you need to join an ielts plus grammar class because only ielts class will not be benefiting you because in that there will be only english very tough uh, and complex english which you are not able to understand at that time grammar is important for you try to join a grammar class with that 
and make a combination of uh, IELTS plus grammar. We are also giving that. You can just contact us by calling at 7973-758644. So I think that this video would have been of great help for you all. And uh, if you got to know something uh, great from this video, just apply that as to get a better score now. Thank you everyone. We'll meet in the next video.